I'm Amanda Page. I'm from the Department of Medicine, University of Adelaide. I work in the Centre of Nutrition and Gastrointestinal Diseases here on Level 7 of Samri. I'm a basic scientist. I'm actually a neuroscientist. Um, but instead of being interested in um, the, the nerves within the brain, I'm actually interested in the connections between the gastrointestinal tract and the brain, how those nerves relay information to the brain um, to control appetite. Appetite regulation in the gut is mainly controlled by um, nerves that signal from the gut to, to the brain. And these nerves are called vagal afferents, they're sensory nerves. And with the, within the stomach, they respond to mechanical stimuli. So as food enters the stomach, the stomach expands and that activates stretch sensitive nerves, those vagal afferents, which then um, send a signal in the form of action potentials up to the brain. And you can see that if you stretch the stomach, you'll get an increase in the number of action potentials that go up to the brain, telling the brain, hey, the stomach's full. And then in the small intestine, there's nerves, but there, the response the, to food intake is more of an enteroendocrine response. So there's cells within the lining of the stomach, uh, the small intestine that contain horm hormones. And they've also got little receptors on them that detect nutrients. So as a nutrient goes through the small intestine, for instance, sugar, then acts on a receptor, a sugar, a sweet taste receptor, which then activates that cell, which then leads to the release of a hormone. And then that hormone activates those vagal afferents and it sends a signal up to the brain to say, what, we've had enough sugar or we've, we've had enough fat in that case. And, and so the food intake is um, the size of the meal is controlled by those vagal afferents. The problem with obesity is there's lots of comorbidities, including diabetes and cardiovascular disease. And so we really need uh, an effective treatment for, for obesity or an effective strategy for the treatment of obesity. And unfortunately, at the moment, the only effective treatment is bariatric surgery. So um, what we aim to do is actually find a, a, pharma, a target uh, within the periphery so that we can minimise um, central side effects for the treatment of obesity to help people lose weight. Actually, about, only about 5% of people that actually tr lose weight actually maintain that weight loss. So it's a, it's a huge problem. So even lifestyle um, changes um, are difficult to maintain. <music>